Greetings. My name is Minister Leslie Massey, and I bring you greetings from Numa Ali Baptist Church, where my pastor is none other than Pastor Lavina Johnson Smith. And I'll be bringing you a word of encouragement on if God said it, I believe it. And that is enough to praise God right there, because if God said it, I do believe it. And I believe that it is good enough for me because if God said it, he's going to answer everything that I am believing and attesting him for. So I am believing God for so many things that I want him to do for me and not only for me, but I want him to do it for you as well. So if God said it, I do believe it and I do trust him and take him at his word. So I'll be coming to you from Jeremiah 1 and 5. But as we get into it, I want you to believe that if God said it, he is going to do it. Let us pray. God, I ask right now that you decrease me now, O oh Lord. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing and acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Jeremiah 1 and 5 says, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. God knew you. And as he knew you, he knew Jeremiah long before you were born or even conceived. He thought about you and planned for you. When you feel discouraged or inadequate, remember that God always thought of you as valuable. He loves you and created you for a purpose. Jeremiah was a child. He was appointed by God as a prophet to the nations. Jeremiah had fear. As some of us do, fear is a grip that sets into us and stops us from doing so many things. And then if you read verse six, it'll tell you that he said, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak for I am a child. Jeremiah knew that he could not, he, he declared that he could not speak for he knew he was a child. And what am I going to say to these grown adults, these older people who are much older than me, hard hit and don't want to listen. So some of us feel that way in certain situations that no one's going to listen to me. But verse eight comes back and tells us, God, let them know, don't be afraid of them. For I am with you and will rescue you, declares the Lord. So you don't have to second guess yourself. You don't have to be worrying about if they hear me or are they listening to me? Do, are they going to accept what I have to say? If God said it, I believe it. Whatever work you do, I want you to know, just do it unto the Lord and let God get the glory out of it all. That's all you have to do. Love, obey, and serve God until it becomes more clear for you. If God said it, I believe it. God promised to be with Jeremiah and take care of him, but not to keep trouble from coming his way. God did not isolate him from imprisonment, deportation, or insults. God does not keep us from life storms either, but he will see us through them, more than that, he will walk us through our own difficulties, pain, and challenges and help us see purpose, meaning, and victory in our struggle. How many of us have been through some difficulties, some pain, and some challenges, but God seen you through the other side of through? So know that when he said, that I am with you and will rescue you, declares the Lord. That's a declaration. He said he's going to do it. So if God said it, I believe it. So know that he's walking with you through every storm, every trial, and every situation. Oftentimes, people struggle with new challenges because they lack self-confidence, may feel that they are inadequate like Jeremiah, and the reason why Jeremiah thought that he was inadequate or inexperienced to be God's spokesperson to the world was because he was a child. That's the only reason that he thought that. But God promised to be with him. 
We shouldn't allow our emotions to keep us from obeying God's call because God said he will be with us. So I'm asking you, remember to examine yourself and pray when you find yourself avoiding God's call. If God gives you a job to do, he will provide everything you need to do it. If he says the house is yours, trust, he's going to provide the finances. Stop making excuses. If God said it, I believe it. Who convinced you that you will never get well? I know that I had suffered with asthma for 26 years. The doctors was telling me that I would always have that. That was a stigma to me from them. But God is the author and finisher of my faith. And today I am 53 and I no longer have it. So long as I stood on his promises and I decree and declare that I am a child of God. And if God said it, I believe it. I am asthma free. So you believe and stand on God's promises and know that whatever he says over you, that it can be done. So just trust and stand on God's promises. The word says, trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not to thy own understanding and all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall and will direct thy paths. So direct thy Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Just trust God through the process of what you're going through. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, evidence of things not seen. So we have to, we don't see the other side of what we're going through, but we have to have the faith to hold on. Jeremiah probably didn't understand what God was telling him through these situations that he was going to be a prophet to many nations, but he had to trust God in the process. He had to know that no weapon and form no weapon that it formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that rise up against him and judgment shall be condemned isaiah 54 and 17 so god knows that they that we have greatness inside of us and gifts and talents that we have not tapped into that he knows that we have an amazing future ahead of us so whatever lies you have accepted about yourself i'm asking you to start telling yourself I am who God says I am. And I need you to say that one more time because somebody may not believe it for themselves. And sometimes we need to remind ourselves, I am who God says I am. If God said it, I believe it. Romans 8 through 29, 8, 29 through 31 tells us for whom God for whom he did for, for no, he also did predestinate it to be conformed to the image of his son. Not my son, not your son, not someone else's son, but his son, the almighty, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren, moreover whom he predestinated, that he also called, and whom he called, that he also justified, and whom he justified them, he also glorified, that what shall we then say to all these things, that if God be for us, who can be against us? If God said it, I believe it. And this is the word of God. Amen. Have a blessed day.